welcome to Get Real with Andy. This is episode 21. This is about money. Get real with money. And I have a, a few things to say about money. Number one, money is totally make-believe. It is make-believe. I know I have wondered about cryptocurrency. I'm one of those people that scratches my head. It's like, what the, what is it? What's it based on? And blah, blah, blah. But really, cryptocurrency is the same thing as money. It just takes it into the digital age where it isn't based on anything. But you know what? Our money isn't based on anything anymore. We actually have stockpiles of gold at Fort Knox. Why is gold, you know, gold is pretty. It makes good jewelry. But how did that become the standard? And actually, our money system isn't really based on gold. And yet we have these stockpiles of gold why and we guard it there's these huge buildings with all these you know whatever you call those bricks of gold and it's like why why did that happen did you know that for the longest time cowrie shells was the universal currency cowrie shells yes the shells that you find at the beach and i forget until when but and so but I'm here to say that money, some people think, oh, the money system, it's the root of all evil. Once we change the money system, all the inequity in the world will be gone. You know, there won't be the super rich and there won't be the super poor. But to me, money is actually a reflection of our collective will. Evidently, we're okay with some people being really poor. There are some people that believe that money is a reflection of how hard you work. And if you're poor, it just means that you don't work hard. There are other people that think it's not fair that in order for us to not have poor people and starving people, we can't have ultra rich people. That if we change the money system or our political system, then everything will be fine. But I'm, I believe that money just reflects our inner values. And collectively, we're we're evidently we're not that evolved. We we're okay with people being poor, and and being hungry, and and not having shelter and homeless, you know that kind of thing. Money is funny, you know. There are other species that actually barter services because we are in this world. We're all together. We're interdependent, you know. There's sharks and remora fish the remora fish clean up the you know they get the extra food that the shark you know leaves around and um and the shark gets to have i don't really know what the shark gets out of it but it doesn't eat the remora fish because it cleans up its area those little birds that sit on the back of the rhinos and eat the bugs you know they get the food supply and the rhinos get get to be clean um Bees and flowers, you know, flowers offer this pollen and the bees collect it and make honey and feed their babies with it. And the flowers benefit because they get pollinated and it's part of their survival. So we're used to bartering services. And in fact, when when human beings lived in smaller, you know, villages and stuff like that, bartering was the way to go. But then we made up money. And actually, in my personal opinion, money isn't the root of all evil. Money is an incredible thing. We're the only species that has come up with, with this global agreement. We've taken money. It's a global agreement. And it is actually based on trust. I trust that when you give me these little pieces of paper in exchange for my work, that I can take those pieces of paper and go to some store and buy food and whatever else. It's an incredible trust system. And you know, again, when I scratch my head about cryptocurrency, what's it based on? It is actually just trust. It's a make-believe. We just collectively agree that this has value. And we're able to do that. And we've taken it to the global level. It's amazing. It says a lot of wonderful things about us we've gotten lost but that's not news that's not you know money doesn't have a patent on our lostness it's not the only arena that we're lost in 
the fact that people will kill and die for money is just an example of how lost we've become. But in and of itself, money is brilliant. It is so based on trust. We just collectively say, okay, I'll believe this too. You believe it, I'll believe it. It's amazing. You know, I remember when I first discovered the value of money. I must have been like three years old, three or four years old, and I actually found a coin in the street. I, I didn't really even know what it was. It was just this round, flat thing. And I showed it to my mom, and she said, oh, that's money <laughs> or something. And then when she took me to the store, she said, put that round thing on the counter and see what happens. And so I reached up because that's how little I was. And I put the I put the coin on the counter and the man behind the counter gave me a piece of candy. And it was like, wow, this is <laughs> this is amazing. And so that was my first introduction to money. And and it is it is just make believe, but it is magic. There's magic in it. Now we live in a world of money and we live in this agreement. And so to fight the money system is is stupid to to have it really reflect our values. Now that's the thing. That's the thing to do. We want I want everything to reflect humanism. Don't you? Cuz we're all in this together. Money can be a reflection of kindness and good values. To be without money isn't to doesn't solve anything, right? Do you think that the monks or the nuns or whatever, that they take a vow of poverty? Do you think that they are somehow freed from having to deal with their own humanity and their own greed and their own whatever it is? No, I don't think so. We're, it's time that we deal with it and face it and get real with money.